The pandemic has created a new hazard to the environment. Polluting the nation's oceans and sewer systems. Recycling centers are making changes to the way they operate. Rollback of single-use plastic bans. They're showing up in fields, lakes, and oceans. We have a new problem that's also an old problem. We have the problem of a consumer mentality, a throwaway mentality. How do we move forward? The choices that we make every day influence what ends up in our waste stream. When I'm collecting this data on the ground, I think about what is this, where did this plastic come from, and what can we do about it? So it opens up to that bigger picture. Why did this item end up here on the first place? And then how can we prevent that from happening? The catalyst in Haiti was the fact that there was a major earthquake. In order to access clean water, it had to come in in bottles for emergency purposes. It made very much sense to collect the bottles that were being used and put some value into them. With this research, HP has brought us in to help them pay close attention to the needs and interests of the workers on the very front lines of this serious environmental problem. That's a pretty brave move because we're not gonna pull any punches. When we ask women picking up garbage in a landfill so that they could feed their kids and send them to school, they spoke with pride about being a part of the global solution of creating a cleaner world. We've been working with HP since 96, focusing on hardware recycling and here, inkjet recycling. A year ago, we never thought we would be living under these conditions with COVID. And we should apply the same lessons we learned with the project in Haiti. There has to be collaboration with the community, with your NGOs. There has to be a business opportunity there as well. In my world, if we could have no waste, if we behaved like nature and every output of every system became an input, that's sort of the ultimate. But to get there, we have to change the systems that we currently have in place. We need innovation. We saw innovation at every level in the project in Haiti. Innovation is not just about innovative ideas, it's about innovative relationships. And if innovative relationships can be ethical relationships, well, then we have a new green economy that we can really get behind.